Hey gang, we're back. We're talking about exam review for, for exam number three, and this is problem number four out of, I think, probably about nine problems that are going to be, uh, that are total possible on this exam. So I just did one of every exam, of every type. But what do we have here? It says, if a radius of the pulleys is 150 millimeters, find the internal forces J at J and K. So here and there. So this sounds like one of those internal force problems. Find M, N, and V. Remember, those are our internal forces. M, which is the bending moment. Okay. N, which is the normal force. And V, which is shear force. Okay. So every time you cut the beam, you must have a M and V, right? Okay, so we won't forget that, will we? So we got this little old problem here. It's got some kind of stand, two pulleys on it, a rope going over the whole deal, pulling down, okay? So how do we do this? What's the, what's the steps to do this? Well, step one is find global equilibrium. So if I'm going to find global equilibrium, um, I think what I want to do is I want to get rid of the world. I want to cut it away from the world. So I'm going to do it on the same free body, but I'm going to get rid of the ground down here, right? Okay. And I got to cut through this line right here. Okay. Now, I just raised my, oh, it's okay. We'll, we'll make it red. Okay. So there's the nine point nine meters. Okay. So this guy is a rope pulling down. We'll call that rope. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's a rope going over a pulley. So what do we know that the, the tension is 500 there? What is it there? 500, what is it there? 500, so what is it over here? It's 500 newtons over there as well. Okay, and then this is a fixed support. So what do we have? We have um, this, an AY. We have, let's see, this. This is AX, and which way does AX go? Well, look at this whole entire system. That guy has an X component that's pulling that way. So this AX needs to go that way, right? And I kind of think since this guy is far away, he's going to try and make the whole system rotate anti-clockwise. And so the reaction moment down here needs to cancel that out by going clockwise. So there is MA, okay? So can we find that? Well, yes, we can. So this is uh, going to be a little bit tricky here. I'm going to show you what's going on right here because it can be a little bit tricky, but uh, we can do it, I think. Okay, so let's see if we can solve for this. AXAY, this guy right here has two components, one here and one there. All right. I know that since this is 20 degrees, that this must be 500 times the sine of 20, and this guy must be 500 cosine 20, okay? So let's do the sum of the forces in the X and the Y and see if we can't find AX and AY right quick. I think that one's gonna be pretty straightforward, okay? So here we go. The sum of the forces in the X equals zero equals, okay, what do we have in the X direction? Um, we got this guy, 500 sine of 20, and then we got AX going that way, so minus AX, all right? And so AX, from that equation there, AX has to equal, I don't know what 500 sine 20 is, do you? Not off the top of my head, anyway. Okay, clear. 500 times the sine of 20 equals 171.0. And this is in Newtons, isn't it? Okay, so there's AX. All right, same process for forces in the Y. Okay, what do you see in the Y direction? We got AY positive, and then we got this guy negative, so minus 500 cos 20. 
And then who else do we have? Uh, that guy. So minus 500. So a y is equal to 500 times the cosine of 20 plus another 500 equals 989.8. Okay, so there you go. Let's take that information over here and then we can kind of erase that and get our board back. AY 989.8 Newtons and then AX 171. Okay, so there's kind of our, oh, it's not all the global equilibrium, is it? We still got to find your ma here, don't we? Let's do that. This is going to be the tricky, a little bit tricky. It's not super tricky. But here's the deal, right? From point A, if we take the moment at point A, you know what's going to be easier? Well, no, it's not either. You know what the problem is? What's the distance to that right there? Because that thing comes off of that pulley at a weird place. I'm going to draw that pulley over there in an exploded view so you can see it, okay? So here you go. There he is, Mr. Big Pulley over there. And here's that rope coming off, okay? Let's say that's, that's the rope coming off. So what we have here is this. They give me that this is 20 degrees. Okay, here's the middle of the pulley. All my dimensions go to the middle of the pulley, don't they? But that, that, that component there is slightly above the middle of the pulley. So I need that little distance right there. Well, here's what we got. That is a 90 degree angle, okay? So anytime you, you go from the center out to a tangent point, right, where that rope comes off, that's going to be at a right angle. It has to be, okay? So if this is 20, right, then we know something about this little triangle here, don't we? Because we know the radius, the radius of the pulleys are given way back over here as 150 millimeters. Ooh, mixed units, don't fall for it. It's a trap, right? That's millimeters. All this junk up here is in meters. Don't fall for that. So this is 0.15 meters, okay? And this angle right here, what is that angle right there? Well, if that's 20, then this angle up here is 70. If this angle is 70, then this angle down here must be 20, okay? And so the X, this distance over here, right, would be... Um, 0.15 cos 20. That's what the x side equals. And the y side is going to equal 0.15 sine 20, right? And so let's see what that is. 0.15 cos 20 is 0.141, okay? This is 0.141. And the y side is 0.15 sine 20, which is 0 0.051. Okay, so here we go. Let's, I think we've got it now, right? This is x, this is x, and this is y, okay? So let's write our moment equation. Sum of the moments about point A equals zero equals, okay? So first one, I've got your moment down here, which is negative. I drew it negative, minus MA, okay? And then I got this 500 over here. How far away is he from point A? 0 0.6, 0 0.6, that's, that's uh, 1.2 plus another 0.15. It's 1.35, isn't it? Okay, so, and it's, and it's going positive. So plus 500 times 1.35. Okay, now I've got these two components here, okay? So from point A, how far is it from point A over to this guy? And that guy, which is the Y component there, rotates me negative. So minus 500 cos 20 times how far away? What is that little distance right there? Well, it's our X distance over there, isn't it? It's 0.141. Okay, and then we got this guy up here, which rotates me, that's negative, 
minus uh, 500 sine 20 times how far away? Okay, it's 0 0.9 plus 0.9. That's 1.8 gets me up to here. And then 1.8 plus an 051 is 1 point <coughs> five one. Ah. Okay. So move the MA to the other side. MA is equal to, here we go, 500 times 1.35 minus 500 cosine 20 um, times 0.141 minus 500 times the sine of 20 times uh, 1.851 equals, okay, 292.2. And what is that? That's Newton meters, isn't it? Okay, so I'm going to put him over here, 292.2. Newton meters. Okay. That's good stuff, right? Global equilibrium. Man, a lot of students will struggle with that. If you're struggling with global, yeah, we're in trouble because you'll never get to the other part. But there's all our numbers, okay? All our arrows are good. I'm going to erase all our work over here because I need the room to solve this problem. That's global. That's step one, okay? That's a lot of work for step one, sir. Okay. No, we got it. We got it. We ain't skirt. We ain't skirt. Here we go. Maybe a little bit scared, but not a whole lot. Okay, I'm, I probably shouldn't erase that. Am I going to need that? I don't think I'm going to need it. I don't think I'm going to need it, okay? We'll have to rewind back and watch the film and see what our answers were. Okay, so next step. We got global. Cut through the point of interest, right, to find M and V at a point and draw your free body diagram of the point. So I'm going to cut, I'm going to do K first. I'm going to cut right through there, okay? And would you draw all of this junk up here, or would you just draw that right there? Yeah, me too. Okay? Okay, and in my mind, just for, for um, the positive sign convention, just rotate this whole system, okay? And I would be drawing the left-hand side, so that tells me which way to draw all my vectors. They're just an assumption anyway. But this one's 989.8. Okay, that's our global we just found. AX is 171. And then we got, don't forget about your MA, your MA down here, is 292.2. Ooh, that's Newton's. 292.2 Newton meters. Okay, smoke it, artichoke. And then we got what? We got M, or N rather. There's N. There's a, a moment. And there's V. Okay? So there's our M, N, V that we're looking for, right? Because every time you cut the beam, you must have an M and V. Okay? So this is going to be super easy, isn't it? N, guess what N is equal to? N, we'll call it N, NK, because this is at point K. So NK, in case you want to know, <laughs> oh, sorry, equals negative 989.8 Newtons. Okay? Which means that he's really not in tension, he's really in compression. And that's true, isn't it? This force is pulling down on this whole system, which is squeezing that whole thing. So, yeah, that sounds good. Okay, so here's NK. What about, uh, what about V? Oh, V is easy, right? Some of the force in the X, you got that going one way and got that going the other way. So, therefore, V, VK, is equal to 171 Newtons. Dude. I thought you said this was going to be hard. No, this isn't hard. Okay, and then finally the moment, i got to find this guy. Let's take the moment about here, right? Who gets knocked out? That guy does, right? So some of the moments about point K, 
equals what? We don't knock moments out. I drew that guy um, counterclockwise. He's positive, so I'm just going to put this MK. There he is. This is MK. That was VK, and this was NK. Oh, oh, okay. So this one gets knocked out. I got a burrito force here that I drew negative, so minus 292.2. And then I've got this guy, which rotates me, ooh, also negative, minus 171 times how far away. How far is it from there down to A? Well, it's, it's 0.9. It's 0.9. Okay. And that's it, man. MK will move all that negative junk to the other side, and we got MK, don't we? So 292.2 plus 171 times 0 0.9. It's 446.1. Okay, so MK, 446.1 Newton meters. And that, my friends, is how you do that. Okay, let's see if we can do the same thing at point J. Bam, right there. So what happens if I cut the beam at point J? Okay, again, are you going to draw all of this junk over here? Or are you going to draw this little bit over here? Of course you're going to draw that over there, right? So here's what I've got. Okay, I have here 500 newtons. I have here 500 newtons. And then I cut the beam over here. And guess what I have over here? I have N. I have ooh, V. And I have M. Okay? And these are all at point J. J, J, J. Okay? So, wow, this is going to be good, right? N. J has to be equal to what? This normal force here. Well, I got only got one force in the, in the X direction, so it equals that guy. But they're both going the same way, so he's going to be negative. So minus 500 newtons. There's J. So again, I assumed this guy to be in tension. He's really in compression, isn't he? Okay. And then uh, how about V? Some of the forces in the Y. This guy's going down, that guy's going down. So Vj is equal to negative 500 newtons. Okay? And the last one, we got to find old Michael Jordan here, don't we? Mj right there. Let's see if we can find that. How about we do this? We take the moment at point J. Sum of the moments at J equals zero equals what do we got? Okay, we got Mj here, which is positive. There he is. Okay, and then I've got 500, which rotates me negative. So minus 500 times how far away? How far away is that right there? Well, it's a radius of a pulley, which is 0.15. And then I've got this 500 out here, which rotates me. That's positive. So plus 500 times how far away is that from J over to there? Well, it's 0.6 plus 0.15, so it's 0.75, okay? And that's it, man. So MJ is equal to, oh, what's it going to be? What's it going to be? It's going to be 500 times 0.15 minus 500 times 0.75. It's going to be minus 300, okay? So what does that mean? That means that um, minus 300 Newton meters. It means that I assumed MJ was going to be a uh, counterclockwise moment. Well, it's really clockwise, right? But I'm still, I'm obeying the positive sign convention. That's why I drew those that way. And it is just an assumption. And if, you put in the, if you're putting these into a, um, uh, one of these digital programs, like one of these online homework systems, it's going to be expecting you to use that system. So there you go. There's, there's what's going on. The internal forces at J. There's the internal forces at K. And that's how you do that, man. A little bit of global equilibrium to, to help, you know, make your life complicated. But anyway, is it hard? Man, that's a piece of cake. Let's make 100 on this test, y'all. Come on.